Poplar is definitely a lot more mellow. About to start reassembly. This is how we do camshaft installs in the Z06s. We made some brackets to hang the motor there and get rid of the whole front subframe so we're able to work on the front cover, oil pan, and up top all at the same time. There's the subframe assembly. There's the Z06. We actually are just finishing up. Finishing up this one with our heads and cam setup. You already had headers on it. Put a hall tech on it as well. Just button it up the bottom. And it should be on the dyno here within the next few hours. Now we just ported the intake manifold and I'm getting ready to actually port the throttle body right now. And I'll be good to go. There's a Grand Sport. Came in a few days ago. Just getting our cam package. He already had a cold air intake and he's already got a set of headers on it. Springs are on. But now we're dealing with installing the cam itself. And here's another Z06. Came in just for our stage one heads and our S2.7 camshaft. Used as a track car. So it's got a little bit of tire rash on it. It's actually getting ready to fire up here shortly. So I don't be on the dyno as well. Busy week. C5Z that came to us actually with a blower issue on it. And we sent the P1 back in. And they ended up saying the P1, instead of upgrading it, we ended up just buying a D, brand new D1 SC for it. We swapped out the P1 for a D1 SC. And put a new pulley, new belt on it, and we're actually adding our fuel system now. Just mounting the pump, fuel regulator. I uh, went over to wiring on the boost pump on the factory pump that's in the car. Uh, got our lines almost tagged into the fuel pump or the fuel tank. We'll wrap this up, get it on the dyno. We're fixing some couplers on it, fixing a few other issues the car has. And we'll see where we end up with the D1 on it. He bought the car as it was. Uh, apparently it's got a built motor in it. And We'll see where we end up. I think he was around 680 before with the P1SC. Here's C7Z that's in for quite a bit of work. We are putting the camshaft and all in it now. We got everything torn down. No front subframe. There's the subframe and all out the front. Automatic car. We'll be taking this car right to the track as soon as it's finished up. But it's still going to be a little while. We're waiting for the heads to come back from porting. We are porting the factory blower in-house, lower pulley, mesh kit. Um, I don't know if it's getting our fuel system or not. But it's getting a decent build going on that should uh, go well, well into the nines. See how deep we get with it. Here's C7. We are just finishing off heads cam package on. Heads just came back the other day. We measured the push rods. Actually needed a slightly shorter push rod than what we had for it. New push rods are going in it now. And then on the dyno here within the next day or so.
finished up with. Came in with headers and the bear ram intake on there. We just put our S3.3 camshaft in it. Uh, just our standard cam package, really. Great looking car. Definitely love the color combo. Pretty aggressive idle.2015 C7 Stingray manual trans came in after the customer just installed his own header setup on it and I'm not sure what mufflers it's got or if it even has any it's pretty loud uh, it's got the AFE intake we installed our CNC ported heads 
um, as well as it actually has a Texas Speed VVT3 camshaft and also ported the throttle body in house and definitely uh, opened that up quite a bit but we will we are just actually finishing the dyno on it still got to take it out on the road but it's been raining all day so didn't get to that point yet but in the dyno it's definitely a strong na setup sitting at 529 472 all motor i mean typically these setups without the ported heads or the camshaft in them we see around 440 or so so he's up what about 90 wheel with the heads cam set up definitely gonna feel strong on the street I actually already before I done it I did take it around shortly down the block and drivability is very good on it I mean even in the parking lot you know let the clutch out and just cruise without you know a bunch of surging or anything so once we get the part throttle and some other parts of the map dialed in I mean it's it's definitely a very drivable setup so if you're you know going to go to the, alt, the opposite I guess you could say of uh, our standard you know everyone just throws a pro charger or an INA kit on these cars which I do love and for the money you really can't beat it but if you're looking to stay NA you can definitely get a solid package with a nice heads cam setup I, mean, I know his intake manifold is not ported on this car and uh, so we always have the option to go a little farther and port this intake manifold or just grab MSD and drop an MSD intake on there grab a little bit more power so whether you want to blow or, or you want to stay NA give us a shout and we can put together a package for you